OK, so now let's look at the bar graph or the bar chart. Uh, so bar chart is also very uh, common to see. That is to use to the height or the length of the bar to compare the values in different categories. So it is one dimensional So because the width normally have no values. OK, so this is one example that we see the number of records by different readers. Uh, we're using a bar graph and this can be complex where we have multiple variables and can be compound. So compound means that within each marker, so there are multiple portions. So in this case, I put the clarity in different portions in different colors of the bar. And we can see all those together indicate the number of the records rated by this agency. OK, so that is a compound um, bar graph. Again, let's see some examples. So this is a, a terrible example and that you can see that it has a very busy uh, scales ticking markers and also does not start from zero. And even worse is even worse is that it is in a 3D, OK, which is really not necessary. So do not use 3D effect because that is harder to make uh, people to make a real comparison. And they also provide the legend, which also does not make any sense in this case. And this is also from the real world example that is from SAS. So SAS, they should know how to create visualizations. And unfortunately, uh, they are using a 3D effect and also, yeah, so it's very, very hard to for you to make the visual comparisons of those numbers. So that is an improved one. So SAS updated this graph um, and <laughs> blame it on the marketing department. Uh, so this is a much better one by using a line chart. This is also another bar chart and we know that if you are looking at this bar chart as well, you, you may want to see those labels. So you, uh, so it's very, very uncomfort to see those labels. Uh, so the language of the bar charts speak both vertically and also horizontally. Again, so most many of those slides is from the Professor Schaffer, Schaffer, who is a professor in the University of Cincinnati. So back to our example. So what I would do is that I would rotate this bar chart so that we can see those uh, labels easier. OK, so just rotate the chart. That is e easier to compare and also easier to read those labels. Again, this is also another um, bad example. Uh, we have those 3D um, effects, which is really, really unnecessary. So this is one example that uh, when we create bar chart in the Excel, so that how the default um, chart look like. And we have very nice legend, which <laughs> is also unnecessary. So we can clean this up a bit and also add a data table in Excel. Uh, we can also remove the y axis and also date lay and the date table so that we can just label the bars directly. And we can also rotate a chart so that can be very useful when there are longer labels so we can avoid rotate the text. OK, so this makes it really uh, easy to read and also make it an easy comparison. And this is also a different view of the same data. And so and this chart is called uh, Pareto chart. So. Uh, P-A-R-E-T-O, OK, um, Pareto chart. So normally the Pareto chart is used to show the uh, the relationship between the 80, 20 rules. So um, it says that so uh, the 20 percent of the people actually controls 80 percent of the uh, the resources of the on the real estimate market. OK, so that's what they call it, the 
20-80%. So where we have those bar charts, and we also have the line chart to show the 20-80% um, percent, um, 20, 80 rules. So if you're interested, you can just Google this one. And this is also another example that uh, if we synchronize the uh, both axes, so how the chart will look like. Okay. So this is also another example of the of the bar chart. So that is created by the um, UCNI, okay, UCNI, so uh, University of Cincinnati. Uh, so the idea is that it want to show that UCNI has uh, certain um, verifications in the 14 specific areas. So make it one of the best on the top position. So what are the problems of this um, bar chart? OK, we, we, we see we saw a lot of issues, right? Like we should make that horizontal. OK, and we should remove those X labels and we should to <coughs> fix those grid lines. OK. And to choose a bad color and you can go to this website, so where they provide a lot of great color combination webs, uh, color combinations. So here we so this is the first revision so that the bars and the tags are rotated. OK, and also footnote has been removed to the bottom. Um, OK. And this one, we increase, we space the grid lines to two instead of one so that we have more space. And we have a logo, OK, and which match uh, the color of the bar chart. OK, so we are using the consistent colors. And this is the final version where we remove the gradient um, background so make it e uh, more clear. OK, so easy to read. OK, so let's see this one. OK, so this one is compare, um, comparing the vending transactions to store transactions. So what is the number one problem? OK, you may see a lot of issues, right? Uh, the title format, so OK, so um, the three dimensions, we should not use three dimensions. Effect, um, axis, labels, OK, uh, and also dark uh, grid lines. Uh, we don't have data. Oh, it's not easy to compare. OK, and also it's, it's using a very bad a color choice okay and it is not necessary to use compound uh, bar chart actually so let's see what is the improved one so here if you put the uh, different stars side by side it's very easy to compare okay so lastly let's talk about the pie graph so pie graph is uh, like use a pie to compare the component of the total uh, versus the part. OK, so we should use a single hue of its uh, very uh, varying situations. So we should we should try to avoid. Sorry. So we should use different hues. So that means different type of colors on the pie chart. And this is not recommended. So that means that if I using a single hue, but use a different uh, situations, so all the values that is not recommended. So that's number one. Number two, do not use pie chart. So if you can, so do not use pie chart because human has less accurate perceptions for those two dimensional signals. So those two uh, for those areas. So we have very accurate perception for the lens, which is the one dimension. But we have less accurate perceptions on the two dimension like the areas. OK. So that is the uh, default pie chart in Excel. OK. So if you can, you can add labels to make it more useful. OK. 
because PyTorch is not very great for the comparisons. And uh, if uh, a PyTorch is not ideal, it's not recommended, even worse is that if you are using a three-dimension pie chart, so that is even worse. And and also even worse than that is that if you, if you are using two three-dimensional pie chart, so that probably is, <laughs> is the worst scenario. And this one is probably well got runner up as the worst pie chart ever done. Okay, so instead of using a, a circle, they're using a banana shape, which totally you cannot compare those values visually, right? Yeah, because you are using this irregular shape. Okay. And this probably is a, one of the worst pie chart ever. Okay, again from the Fox News. So can you see why? Okay, the biggest issue is that if we add up those values, so it add up to almost 200%. Okay, it add up to 200%. So for the pie chart, do not use pie chart if, if possible. So if you really have to use a pie chart, make sure they add up to 100%. Only a few categories, so you don't want like 10 or 20 categories. Start at noon and move clockwise. Okay, and you can sort that one from the largest to the smaller values. And if possible, you can add the labels for the 20%. Okay, and do not use 3D effect on any chart. Actually, do not use 3D effect on any chart and keep it simple. Okay, so almost all the pie chart can be converted into a bar chart. So this is an example that if we use a bar chart instead of using that banana uh, pie chart, so that's how it looks like. Or we can use a stacked bar chart. That also works. Okay. And this is also a real example of using pie chart to compare uh, the energy usage. Okay, and if we redesign that one, and we can use this a snaky diagram. Okay, a snaky diagram as snaky. Oh, sorry, snaky as a n k y snaky diagram. Okay, so that is far way better than the pie chart. And this is another example. So we have too many categories. Okay, so by using pie chart, it is impossible uh, to understand what they are talking about. So instead, we can use a bar chart. Okay, and we sort the bar chart so we can see who are number one, number two, top five, etc. Okay, how can we improve the pie, a pie chart? We can remove borders. Okay, <clears throat> remove those redundant legend. Do not use 3D. Okay, we don't don't use a lot of colors, so just use a few colors to highlight. And finally, if we can, do not use pie chart. Okay, and also less is more. 